this is what we need to see, right? Which is the, first of all, we will go into the probabilities of, okay, it's 75% likely that ETFs will be approved, the Bitcoin spot ETF will be approved within this year, right? And let's say a, you know, close to 100% chance that it'll be approved next year, right? Because BlackRock is 275 and one, 275 wins against one loss on ETF approvals, right? So when are the deadlines? And we have BlackRock, which is the iShare Bitcoin Trust, right? Um, I would zoom in, but Bloomberg's not letting me. So um, what do we have here? We have early, right, for BlackRock and Bitwise, we have early September. Well, actually, sorry, all of these, right? We have early September, except for Global X, like Global X is in early October. But we we have a good handful of ETF potential approvals here at the first deadline in September. Now, the thing that you have to understand about yesterday's ETF uh, case with Grayscale against the SEC, all the SEC or all the government, the United States government said was, hey, the SEC's case against the ETF is wrong, right? You should be able to file and within reason, it looks like you should probably be approved, but that's not our business to say essentially, right? Something along those lines. Um, so it green lights all ETFs for potential approval from here, but it doesn't mean they'll be approved anytime soon. Just means, okay, now the SEC is actually going to legitimately look into the case instead of dragging their feet. So to look into the case, I think it's going to take longer than September, right? So um, within the, you know, do, does it, is there enough time for that judge's approval um, to turn into SEC actually having done enough research to approve the spot ETF and then go and approve it within one week. I don't think that's all going to happen within one week. If it does, very interesting because I think we go up into the right pretty damn quickly from there. By the end of the year, we would see probably $48,000 Bitcoin in that case or higher, right? So that would be nice, but I think that's highly unlikely. Right. The second deadline, when are those? Right. The second deadline for the ETF approvals, starting with BlackRock, right, are in when? Mid October. Right. Mid October here. So um yeah, October 17th, 16th, right around that period, 19th, right, 21st, all of that period there. How likely is it that we get an ETF approval by then? I think the SEC had that's the first chance I think we have at, at an ETF approval. Right. And if we're if there's a 75 percent chance within the year and I'll give you the logic behind why 75 percent. Right. If there's a 75 percent chance within this year, then I mean, it's literally two chances. In my opinion, it's literally just this one chance, which is mid-October. Right. Um, we do have what the ARC ETF coming here in November. But generally speaking, I would say it's probably October where you have, you know, that main decision being made. So how likely is that? Right, we'll talk about that. But um, you got that one shot. If that happens, again, bull market starts early, right? Next best chance, third and final deadlines, right? This is where I think it's most likely to get an ETF approved, which would be January or March, right? First quarter or going into the second quarter, right? Those are your best times. And if you want a nice long bull market that's sustainable, right? That has peaks that aren't too volatile, but you know, you can make some good profits, follows the four-year cycle pretty good. It does, it's not too different. I would say then you would be looking for an ETF approval in March, right? If you got one in January, that would still put us in line with most bull markets as well, but we might get a little bit bullish, a little bit too fast going into the halving, and then you might get a post-halving dump, which is actually, uh, post-halving dumps are like the what do you call it? Like the angels bestowing you with an opportunity, really, because it's like the easiest time to buy crypto is right after the Bitcoin having. And if you get a dump after the having, oh my God, like how much easier can it get? Right. So, you know, an ETF approval in January, getting us a, a little bit of a, a quick start there to the year and, and then a dump into the having potentially if, if we got one nice, we're not guaranteed. You can just continue going up into the right. But uh, generally speaking, I would say those would be, you know, healthy catalysts for crypto at the time that it's needed. I don't think um, right now Bitcoin has you know, enough 
going on in accumulation for the whales, and the whales want time to accumulate as well. Uh, some of the whales being people that are on Wall Street related to the United States government. So do those people think, you think they want to push the ETF through faster? Not really, right? So I, I, I would say, yeah, you have a solid shot here in October, but more likely January, March, and those would probably be healthier for the market as well. If, the, if Wall Street really just wants to make money now and get some liquidity, um, push up the price and then, you know, just love a volatile market where they can like make money off of people. They might then October might be the best chance to kind of fuck up the Bitcoin four year cycle a little bit and uh, throw in some extra volatility. Um, so how likely is Wall Street to want to do that? They probably would enjoy doing that. They probably would want to do that. Will they? I don't know.